This protected room holds a portion of Notre Dame's recovered treasures. Furniture, chandeliers and candlesticks. All saved thanks to a human chain, which permitted firefighters to remove the treasures from the flame-engulfed edifice, one by one. They had to go through the smoke and the falling melted debris to remove them and keep them protected. It was a delicate, dangerous operation. The artifacts were carefully escorted to the Paris City Hall building, located nearby. The first treasure to be saved, the Holy Crown of Thorns, which King Louis IX brought to France in the 13th century. The relic, invaluable to Catholic worshipers, was purportedly laid on the head of Jesus Christ shortly before his crucifixion. And fragments reportedly from the cross upon which Jesus was crucified were also brought to safety, along with this tunic, worn by King Louis XIV, who was canonized in 1297. The Silver Virgin, too, used in Assumption Day processions, was recovered unharmed. But it will take several days to establish the exact extent of the fire and water damage inside the cathedral. Paintings tend to resist water damage as long as they don't stay wet for too long, so these are the crucial hours. We have to secure the nave, and once we're sure there's no risk of collapse, we can go in and prioritize taking whatever items we can to a protected place. Firefighters managed to remove several important paintings while the blaze was still underway, but not all of them. As for the great organ and its 7,300 pipes, there is some water damage. But for now, the rose windows dating back to the 12th and 13th centuries are unharmed. And the same goes for the 13-ton Bourdon Emmanuel Bell, the cathedral's oldest, which was inaugurated by Louis XIV. After they're inventoried, all of the recovered treasures will be entrusted to the care of national museums, then transported to undisclosed locations.